Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Continuing on with my budget series, today we're looking at a Star BM9. Check that out, a Spanish made military surplus gun. Why is it in the budget series? Well, people were picking this up between $200 and $250. I picked it up for $230, I think it's great. Now I've often considered it a mini high power and that is because it has an all steel frame many of the same controls it actually looks like it to a degree if you look at the fore end there it is chambered in nine millimeter single action trigger i'm measuring right at five pounds has the same positioning with the thumb safety and it looks similar with the hammer eight round single stack magazine magazine disconnect right here much like the high power it has a barrel bushing right there. You'll notice with the disassemble 3.8 inch barrel An overall pretty nice handgun very much a, a budget handgun and th This has performed very well. I recall it's been a while since I've had this out So let's go ahead and take a few shots here And there we go. This was produced in 1979. And that is because it is stamped right there on top of the trigger guard. 1979. So it is an old gun. And I, I actually like it. You know, Star has the, the B9, the larger one, and the BM9. Let's try the BM9 one-handed. And I had a hang up here. I'm not surprised by that actually. Uh, I didn't like to slide back. Yeah, failure to eject. And the reason why I'm not surprised is because I had this issue before and I'm pretty sure it was with the one hand And that's it, but look at what's laying on top of that follower in the mag. So having a little trouble ejecting, let's go ahead and turn the camera around. It is very low recoil with that all steel frame. It actually disassembles much like a high power as well. So it just continues on in my eyes to be a mini high power, but I'll go ahead and load it up and we'll turn the camera around. I want to show you the trigger pull. It is unloaded. It has magazine disconnect, so I have to do it this way. And we'll drop the slide, and here is the reset. Very 1911-ish, and I like that. It even has barrel lugs in there. You'll see on the, the disassemble that it does have barrel lugs that keep the barrel nice and tight and aids with accuracy. Another hang up here. When I took this gun out of the safe, I made sure it was properly lubed. Yep, failure to eject. So some of the issues that you may have with a older, older firearm. And that, that one felt weird, so I'm gonna check this even further. We'll drop the mag. No reason to do a limperous test with this handgun. So far anyways. And that's it. So for a Spanish military surplus gun, this one is in really nice shape. You see a lot of these, they kind of look beat up. But this one still has the bluing on it. You can see that it does have polymer grips there. But overall, I still like the handgun, okay? So it, it had some issues at the range. Those were 124 grain ball ammo, by the way. Nine millimeter, but I like that short trigger pull. And I like the overall feel of it. This gun has some heft behind it. 
And what can you say, for, for $200, $230, you really can't go wrong if you can clean up some of those issues that many people have, by the way, you'll find that it's a real nice shooter. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.